as I was saying, I didn't expect to get a chance to talk again, but um, uh, it's a the same subject, but a slightly different topic. I guess last time I got up and thanked you all for coming and then complained about the government. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you again. Um, and I want to talk about the pond back there. Um, when we first got here, there was a there's a ditch that runs up there, an irrigation ditch. Um, and there was a leak in the ditch because the ground is fairly porous. And the ditch is on about three months out of the year. And while the ditch was on, um, there was a wet spot down there um, it was from the leak. And uh, we thought, well, let's take that wet spot and turn it into a pond. Um, well, it turned out that the wet spot was a wetlands. Never mind that it was caused by a leak from a ditch that was man-made that was only turned on three months out of the year. And when we put a pond in, we destroyed the wetland. Now, I know we made the wetland wetter, but nevertheless, <laughs> we destroyed the wetland. And, and uh, I believe it was a Corps of Engineers needed to get involved, um, partly because we're dealing with the navigable water system, which is the Papusha River back here. Now. Um, I don't know how they come up with the definition of navigable, but when it's in flood, you could possibly get a kayak down it. Um, and so we, uh, we put our pond in and they said, well, since you destroyed the wetland, you need to replace the wetland that you destroyed. And so over on that side of the pond, we had to excavate a special area that was just the right depth of water, and then we had to fill it with just the right amount of so uh, the just the right kind of soil um, that was similar to the area of the wetland that we had destroyed by putting in the pond. And um, I guess you guys know probably that now in Congress they're um, considering changing the regulatory powers of Washington from navigable water and they're just going to take the navigable out and it's just going to be water. Um, I don't have an answer as far as how we're going to get back to liberty, but the situation where you can't put a pond in without making a swamp that was caused by a leak in a ditch is... Um, <laughs> now that's just an example, but there are a lot. You know we. Uh, we homeschool. We did home birth. Uh, we've got we've got dairy goats. You know we can't sell our raw milk. I mean, when someone can't sell food that they produce to their own neighbor, what's going on? You know this is this is this is not this is not the way this country is supposed to be. And I'm just hoping that we can get it back on track. And for me, back on track means being able to sell food to your neighbors with no interference. Being able to go get a job wherever you want to. Just hey, I'd like to work for you. You know you can pay me what you want, and I'll work however it works. So. I think we've got a long road to hoe, but uh, but uh, that's that's where my mind is, and I'm really excited to see this many people coming together. And I think that uh, we're not identical, but we've got we've got similar goals. Thank you. <laughs>